Okay, good morning, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Saturday. So, as you can see from up above, that it is uh, pretty overcast again, just like it was last weekend, but a little warmer. A little warmer than it was last weekend, so we're riding from the house today and going over to Candlewood Lake, not Lake Waramog. So I'm here joined by Jason. He's riding behind me. And uh, luckily, he was supposed to work this weekend, actually. Yeah, he was supposed to work this weekend and got switched over to being on call. So he's able to ride with me. I only have an hour and a half of riding because I'm doing another workout. I'm actually looking forward to this plan end because I just feel like I could, uh, I could use some zone two rides. I just haven't had any zone two rides because of, because of how this lift training plan is. So yeah, looking forward to uh, riding with Jason today and what will you be doing? Uh, it's supposed to be a four hour endurance ride. So I'll just, uh, I'll see how many hours I end up doing, see how I feel as I go along because uh, I did a pretty hard workout yesterday and I, I really wasn't expecting to be riding today because I thought I would be working. Uh, but I kind of lucked out and am able to ride and chose to ride today instead of Sunday because it's going to rain Sunday. So today it is. And I'll just have to see how the legs are feeling as we go along. The good thing about this week, this coming week is uh, it is spring break here. So that means school is closed for the week and uh which is good because that means i'm actually heading into the uh, week 10 of the training plan so it is going to be it's going to get intense week 11 would be the last intense week and then week 12 is taper until i do a an ftp test it's going to be pretty intense so the timing of it is actually perfect it's nice to have that week off just so you know recharge and regroup so that you can go back in anyway i'm gonna put you guys away um and i'll turn back on once i finish crossing the road Not sure if I mentioned this, I am going to be doing a workout called Melange. Uh, lots of French sounding workouts, actually, uh, multiple languages. Actually, um, I am finishing up week nine of the Build Me Up plan, and I am uh, far back. I have one more workout to do. I will do that tomorrow indoors because it's going to rain. And that's why we wanted to take advantage of today because it doesn't appear to be, it doesn't appear to, to rain today, uh, even though it's pretty overcast up above me. I'm hoping 
next week that we get some good weather. Uh, so maybe uh, at least I could ride a little bit outside or just do things outside. Stick around later on, guys. I will give you a little bit more information about what happened last week uh, and how I crashed my drone. So I'll let you more. I'll give you more information about that later. I'm gonna do that Carmen Hill climb and then I'm gonna come home okay. and like refuel there and then probably just ride around the neighbor, you know, the just uh, okay. nearby home. Everyone. So, uh, Joy just finished up her workout and she's heading home now. And uh, I'm still gonna ride, you know, for a few more hours. Um, I just did this. Uh, North Mountain Road climb, which of course I forgot to hit record, so I don't have it on video. Um, but this one was, it was one that I had my eye on because um, one of our rides last year, there's a really steep part of the climb and one of our rides last year, I failed on it. I just, I couldn't make it and I fell off the bike. Uh, so I, my legs are feeling relatively good today so I figured uh, I would give it a try while I'm in the area because it's been on my mind to get revenge and fortunately I did you know successfully manage the climb did not did not fail this time but again I don't have it on video so sorry about that but I'll see if I can find some other climbs around here and record those nice day to be on the lake this is uh, Candlewood Lake right here and uh, see a few people out on their boats already. It's not quite the season yet, but people uh, that like to be on the water have the itch to get outside just like us cyclists do, so good for them. All right, guys, the sun came out. Woohoo! It's nice when the sun comes out. It makes me feel so much better. Um, so I had to shed some layers because it was starting to get warm. Um, got through the workout. I was pretty happy with how it turned, how it came out. Uh, it's, it pays to know the course or the, the route that you're riding through uh, because the downhill does affect uh, the overall out, the average of that interval that you're doing uh, so if you're doing a hard effort and you're going downhill it kind of you know defeats the whole purpose of that hard interval and so I think I was able to 
to maintain my uh, my power. Big truck behind me here. Um, so Jason and I split up. He did a climb uh, called North Mountain, and and so he's doing, like he said earlier, four hours. I am done with mine. I'm just doing a recovery spin. I'm gonna get home. So anyway, I was saying earlier that I'm gonna give you a little bit more details on what happened with my drone. So I actually forgot to hit the record when the drone was following me. I had the active track on and obstacle avoidance on and it was able to avoid a lot of the trees especially the trees with leaves on them and i think the problem was that there are some trees that still don't have leaves in them and the branches kind of stick out but they're very thin branches and so it missed that branch or those branches and that's how it probably clipped the branches. Another theory I had was it was probably the power line, because I think I might have been flying it too low, and there was a power line that was crossing, and uh, so it might have clipped that. So um, we sent it out for repair. We have the uh, DJI Care Refresh and um, checked it out to see what we could get out of it. I knew that they would repair the drone. And so we're actually good for two replacements, one year, a date of purchase, and um, one flyaway coverage. So, so we sent it out. I'm just going to fly the drone manually. Since I've had no problem flying a drone, it's actually very easy to fly um, manually. So I have had no problems doing that. Um, if I were to do the active track, I, I think the next step would be to fly it on a very wide open space where I know that the drone will not crash on to something. So that means that above me needs to be cleared. So that's the update on the drone. And uh, I wanna put you guys away because there's this big hill coming up and I gotta climb that. That was Carmen. That was one of two Carmen Hill roads. Um, yeah, there's. I don't know how it works exactly, but there's like a Carmen Hill Road one and two, and I just climbed. I think, actually, I'm not sure whether it was one or two, but I climbed one of them. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Kind of long and gradual. There's a another one that I just descended on. Right now, I'm gonna go back up it. Um, I think that one's a little steeper, but we'll see.
just stopped at home to uh, use the bathroom, get more water, and shed some layers because it's warming up out here and I was sweating. So, going pretty well so far. I'm uh, nearby home now and probably just gonna just gonna stay in this area. There's a there's a loop that that we do a lot around our house and takes about 20 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna do that a bunch of times. Kind of boring, but want to put in the endurance miles today. So, I no longer have Joy's company. So, the rest of the way will be a little boring. Uh, but, gotta do what you gotta do. Well, just about done with the ride here. Three hours and 51 minutes so far. Uh, that's not enough time to do another loop. So I'm just gonna cool down for a few minutes uh, in our neighborhood here. Yeah, it was uh, it's a good ride. Let's see, uh, looking at currently 57 miles, 4,000 feet of climbing, and yeah, let's see, what else we got? Average power, 146, which is kind of, kind of standard for me for an outdoor ride. Uh, I'm not going you know, crazy hard. So, uh, you might be wondering what I bring to eat during my rides. I think Jason has mentioned a couple of things about his nutrition um, when he goes for rides, but I've just been um, experimenting on different things. Uh, for example, today I brought uh, Samoas uh, because I was just craving it all week and I was staring at this box and so I thought, oh, let me just bring that one and that helped to kind of fuel my ride um, and that was pretty good. And so last week I actually brought on my workout to um, at Lake Waramug, I brought with me pancakes. Um, it was chocolate chip pancakes. That was pretty good. Um, the problem with that was um, I, I, I actually wasn't feeling well last week um, during that ride. I, for some reason, there are those days that you're going to come across and you just don't feel like you have the energy for anything. Um, and it was an active recovery week actually and so that kind of startled me because I didn't really do a whole lot of heavy intense uh, workouts but um, I do have to consider that the fact that it's been really intense these workouts and um, and some days I just don't have it and uh, and you know just mentally not um, really ready for for those types of workouts and uh, so I just feel like um, last week was not a good week for me. Um, in addition to that, it was pretty cold and sometimes the weather just really, um, the, the weather really does affect my mood. And so today I am feeling a whole lot better. Looking around me, I'm seeing the leaves are starting to come through uh, the trees. Um, you know, my bulbs are starting to come through and it just is, the sun's out. And I am really, um, my mood is pretty lifted today and I'm hoping that this mood stays that way uh, throughout the week. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you for those of you who commented on whether or not you like, <laughs> you prefer to have your legs shaved or not. That is still up, okay? That is still, I, 
still want you guys to comment on that. One person has mentioned that uh, it doesn't really affect his performance, um, but I'm hoping that somebody does something to convince Jason. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and uh, I'm sure Jason is still out there doing his thing. Stay tuned and we will continue to update you on all the other things that we're doing. For now, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.